Hello and welcome back for some more Hearthstone Arena. So as you can see I've already entered here again and our three choices are Rogue, Mage, and Priest. Um, I just played a Mage recently and I feel dirty playing a Priest still so I'm gonna go with Rogue. Alright so first choice we have Mana Addict, Secret Keeper, and Gadget Zant Auctioneer. Uh, well, I know I'm not going to have any secrets, so that's kind of useless. Gadgets and Auctioneer can be a really good card, but Mana Addict, I mean, Rogues have a decent amount of spells in general, so that may be a good starting card, but I think I'm going to go with the Gadgets and Auctioneer for the card draw. So we have Eviscerate, Worgen Infiltrator, or Chillwind Yeti. These are all good choices. I think I'm going to go with the Chillwind Yeti here, just because it's an all-around just good card. Uh, Voodoo Doctor I'm not too fond of. Dread Corsair could be useful. I guess at the very least it's a 3-3 three, three for 3, if I can have my weapon on as well. But, so it's essentially like an iron for a grizzly unless I can pick up a weapon and vanish very situational you'd have to have like nothing on the board and have your opponent have a bunch of minions out for that to be really worthwhile plus you'd have to have a good follow-up uh yeah I guess I'll go with Dread Corsair Fairy Dragon's a great card Cold Blood's really good and Dark Iron Dwarf is also really good I think here I'm gonna take the Dark Iron Dwarf Alright, so we got Cobalt, Geomancer, Shadow Step, and Dragon Theme Mechanic. Shadow Step can be useful for like uh, playing a Battle Cry card, bringing it back to your hand, and then playing that same Battle Cry again. Like with the Dark Iron Dwarf, I could get something plus four attack for basically like six mana. Um, plus, it's good for just healing up a minion. So you could use one of these to clear the board and then bring it back to your hand and then play it again to heal it. Uh, so Cobalt Geomancer is not really great for what I have right now. It would be more useful if I had like a fan of knives or something like that. And I don't particularly like the Dragon League mechanic card that much so I think I may have been to take the Shadow Stuff. I do need to make sure that I take some spells because of this Gadget and Auctioneer card. Spiteful Smith could be pretty good for a rogue. The War Golem is like, I mean, it's 7 mana for, it's a 7-7, seven, seven, but it has nothing else about it. Whereas you could get like a Boulder Fist Ogre, I think is like a 6-7 six, for 6. So I don't, I don't really like the War Golem all that much. The Cult Master is pretty good for the card draw. Um, I think, uh, Spiteful Smith is... I mean, it's a 4-6, and usually it gets targeted by, like, silence and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I think I will try it out. Bluegill Warrior is not that great, in my opinion. I mean, it's okay. It can take out, like, those pesky 3-2, like, fairy dragons and things like that pretty easily. Um, Frost with Warlord is pretty decent. And the Razor Fen Hunter is okay. It's, it's kind of there with the Dragon League mechanic in my opinion. Uh, I mean I don't have any low cost minions yet which is kind of scaring me a little bit. But I am gonna take the Warlord because I, I really like that card. Assassinate just I need it for removal. So we have another Shadow Step, a Sinister Strike, or a Goldshire Footman. Uh, let's see, a second Shadow Step couldn't hurt. I mean, I'm not too particularly fond of the Sinister Strike, just in general. And I really don't like the Goldshire Footman, even though I don't have any low cost. But, yeah, we're going Shadow Step. Oh, wow, first time ever we get a legendary choice here. So, Millhouse Mana Storm, enemy, enemy spells cost zero next turn. That, wait, that card could really fuck you over, like really badly. I don't, 
think I like that card, but it is a 4-4 four, four for 2 mana. Yeah, you're really rolling the dice with that one. Malagos I'm familiar with just because I, I actually have that card. Um, and Baron Geddon at the start, or at the end of your turn, deal 2 damage to all other characters. Well, it would be a decent like board clear type minion, I suppose. Yeah, that could be that could be an interesting one to play, I suppose. I'll try that out. Sprint, draw four cards. That's not bad. Um, Ogre Magi or Dalaran Mage. I think I'm going to take the Sprint. Just for the late game card draw. So we have a Shiv, draw a card, Assassinate again, or Frost Elemental. Frost Elemental is pretty decent. But I really prefer like the water elemental over this. Um, but of course, that's like water elemental is like a mage card. But I'm just saying, um, assassinator shiv, tough call. I mean, this is just straight up removal, but this also gets me a card. Yeah, I'd rather just have the removal. All right, I need to start getting some low mana cost here. So, Acidic Swamp Ooze or Flesh Eating Ghoul. Um, I really like the Acidic Swamp Ooze because it's great for breaking somebody's weapon. Yeah, I'm going to take that. So, Earth and Ring Farseer or Cult Master. I think I will take the... Uh, we're going to take the Earth and Ring Farce here. And here, I, I really don't want a second sprint, so I'm just going to take the No Wish Inventor. So, Mad Bomber. Betrayal's a really good card. I've, I know I've been screwed over by that card before. Plenty of times. And it's a hell of a lot more reliable than a Mad Bomber, so yeah, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> and a Mad Bomber comes back like, wait, no, trust me, I won't, I won't screw you over this time. Please, just, just give me another shot. Uh, so Blue Gill Warrior or Mad Bomber? Oh, I know you can't see it, but I'm face palming right now. Um, all right, Mad Bomber, just because you showed up twice. I like the Defire's Ringleader. I think it's a really good rogue card. You get a 2-2 two, two, and a 2-1 two, for 2 mana. That's just great. You have to combo it, but still. That's, it's not too particularly hard to combo something. Especially if you have a coin. You could just turn 1 this card. It's amazing. I really like Cold Blood, though. But gotta take this. I need some 1 mana cost. Ooh, so we got a Fan of Knives, which is a great card. I really like the Fan of Knives card. Iron Beak Owl's good for the silence. I haven't had silence in a game in a long time. And the loot hoarder's card draw. Uh, I, I do want the silence. So we get a Mana Wraith, Master Swordsmith, or Blade Fury. Blade Fury isn't great right now because I don't have a weapon at all. I mean... Best case scenario with that is I pay 4 mana total to do 1 damage to all enemy minions. Or actually all enemies in general. Okay, so we would do 1 damage to the, my opponent as well. Uh, I think I might I think I might take a mana wraith here, guys. Just to try it. Because I've never tried it, and like I said before in the past, I've been screwed over by that card. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Another sprint. Okay, so here we go. We get some. We get a one mana cost minion. I'm gonna just take that immediately. Um, another Defias ringleader couldn't hurt. Sure, why not? Uh, Code Light Oracle is not ideal. So, and I've already talked about Blade Fury. So I think I'm gonna take the. I mean, yeah, I need a 3 cost, but not one that's going to give my opponent cards also, so. Ooh, this mana curve is yuck. Very bad. 
Uh, we do need Taunt. We've got plenty of two mana cost cards, so let's go ahead and take Fennec Reaper. Okay, here's here's actually a pretty decent one mana cost, because if I have a weapon, I can play this, it comes out with charge. And if not, it's a 2-1 one for 1, so it's pretty standard. Um, And I already have two Shadow Steps, so yeah, let's just take that. So you'll give your minions stealth until the end of your next turn. Or, I'm sorry, until your next turn. Um, or a Mani Berserker, which I don't really have a... Well, I could Elven Archer the Amani Berserker to enrage it, but chances of that happening in my hand early game is probably not very good. So I'm going to take a Fan of Knives here, because I need some 3 mana cost. And along those same lines, I'm also going to take a Razor Fen Hunter because I need some 3 mana. Backstab is decent. It's a handy card for removal. I really don't like the Silverback Patriarch, but... I, I mean, I, I could use the Taunt. Uh, but it's such a bad Taunt. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the backstab. Okay, so we finally get a weapon. Young Priestess is pretty good. It's a really good one mana cost. But this is also a pretty handy weapon just for the combo. Um, yeah, I actually I prefer the Young Priestess here. I'd rather have the one health. So last choice is Master of Disguise, give a friendly minion stealth. Or the SI7 agent, deal two damage with combo. Or the mana addict. I think I'm gonna take the... I think I'm gonna take the SI7. Is there anything I would want to give stealth to, to just sit there? Let's see. So far... I mean, maybe a Mana Wraith, but that would just... Eh. I mean, that card's going to screw me over too, so I need to think about that. Gadget's and Auctioneer would be a good card to just give stealth and just have it sit there and constantly give me cards. Parent Gaiden would be an interesting card to put that on. Because you could just sit there and do two damage and just keep the board clear. Especially if I already was in, in an advantageous position. Um, yeah. I don't know. Or I could give stealth to my Fen Creeper and we could have stealth taunt. We've seen how useful that's been. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm... I'd rather just have the combo 2 damage and clear something out when it comes in. Yeah, I've had uh, I've had worse mana curves than the uh, the vampire mana curve, but uh, we will see how this goes. I don't really have very good success with the rogue and arena, mainly because I think I just make poor choices when I'm drafting the deck and also when I'm playing it. So we're against a paladin. I will fight with honor. What? Well we probably don't need Baron Geddon in our hand right away, so you can go back. I am gonna hang out of this because chances are I'll have a weapon by turn three. So Yeah. Uh, probably don't need to keep Shadow Step in my hand either. And then Assassinate isn't a bad card to just have in your hand for just in case bad shit happens, so You're I'm alright with that. He'll play a Shield Bearer. Okay, so I could coin Acidic Swamp Ooze, which 
mm, I kind of don't want to do, just in case he plays um, like a true silver champion. Because those are always fun to just crush without him being mm. able to use it. So I could coin Razorfin Hunter next turn. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Alright. That's pretty much what I figured he would do there. So yeah, I think we'll just coin out the Razorfin Hunter. I won't be able to bust this down yet. Well, I mean, he's only going to do one damage to me here. And I could get out a taunt. My next turn for three. I wonder. Uh. Yeah. Let's just do that. <laughs> so indecisive. I don't know if this is the right thing to be doing, just not playing minions. Probably not. Reporting for duty. Pretty much allowing him to get a bunch of these guys out is always a bad thing. Wow. That is a weird play. That's a really weird play. I don't know if I would have used that card on my own minion just to do one damage with it. That seems kind of odd. But at any rate... We'll toss out our 3-3 three, three taunt. That'll be able to handle any of this nonsense. And... Mm, yeah, I don't really see the point in taking another damage, so... We still have our coin, so that'll allow us to do some interesting things later, I suppose. Like, if I ever get the gadgets in Auctioneer, I could just play the coin get a card from it. And then hopefully maybe play another spell. Hmm. Of course. Of course you had another one of those in your hand. But that's alright. I'd rather you use those now as opposed to later. Kind of concerns me like he has like Warlord in his hand or something. That's why he's trying to get all these minions on the Not board. On my watch. No. Move quickly. <laughs> okay, so we have a betrayal. Which doesn't do a lot for us because of his placement. If this was here, I might have considered playing it. But you never know, he might screw that up. So, in this instance, I'm just going to raise Revenge Hunter. I wonder. Don't mess with Tusker. And I think what I'll do... Do I want to hang on to the coin or not? Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna continue to hang on to the coin. I could shadow step this back to my hand and just play it for one and just have an extra one one on the I field, wonder. which is kind of tempting. Uh. No, I'm gonna wait in case he has like a consecration. He's like wanting to play to just clear my board. I'd rather not waste a bunch of cards with that potential. Yep, called that one. Ah, super called that one. That's exactly what I was expecting to happen. Because he has yet to play anything actually scary. He's just playing kind of weird right now. At this point, I think it's Gadgets and Auctioneer, Coin, or 
All right, wait. I mean, he can't kill it unless he has like some kind of removal in his hand. And I'll at least get one card out of it, and it gets me a 4-4 on the board. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get any... I'm not actually going to get anything f with the one mana. Which kind of bothers me, but... Uh, fuck it. Okay, so now basically, if my if if he doesn't kill it, then next turn I'm gonna be a little upset because um, my next turn I could have just coin got a card, played Baron Geddon, and that would have cleared his board. But you never know. Reporting for duty. My shield for Argus. Okay, so he'll defender of Argus and probably just kill it. No, he's not. He's just going to hit me in the face. Okay. That's fine. So... I think I go ahead and kill his 3-3 taunt with the Gadgetzan Auctioneer, play the Earth and Ring Farseer, heal him back up. That leaves me a 3 mana. Or I could Betrayal and kill these two. I, wonder. I think I like that better, actually. Wait, no. I... What's better here? Betrayal killed these two, or Betrayal killed these two? Um, that's a tough call. I wonder. Well, I think I kill. I think I kill these two. I mean, it's going to be a 1-2 and a 3-3, three, three, or a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2, two, two, so, yeah. Seems better to do it this way. Alright, so now I can kill this off. Earthen Ring Farseer, heal him back up. And fuck it, I'll shadow step him back to my hand and go. smack him. Okay, good. It at least registered me attacking him. I was a little worried that it wouldn't there. Because with the uh, animation, sometimes you have like a crazy delay on everything that you can do. Reporting for duty. Ah, get behind me. Alright, he'll booty bay bodyguard, which I think I'm just going to assassinate that thing. So he's like... Seeming like he's just trying to rush me down at this point. So. Let's see, I could fan a knives. And then that would bring us down to three. I play this, it does another two, gets it to one. I'd love to have that elven archer right about now. Uh, or I just assassinate it. Yeah. I'm just going to assassinate it. That'll give me another card. Gives me a mad bomber. I could go for the... Uh, could go for the RNG here. To try to kill this thing off. I think I will do that. Uh, but if I hit this once, it's also going to die. <laughs> nah, I'm not too fond of that, actually. So I'd rather just do this. Heal that guy up again. Bring it back to my hand again, so we can, so I can continue getting that heal because it's been quite useful. Plus, I get another card, and I think I'm just going to use it to heal myself now because I've taken quite a bit of damage. Plus, I I would like to have a another minion on the field here. So I got kind of a lot of value out of these two minions that I have on the field right now. I mean, I've gotten a total of, what, nine healing out of the Earthen Ring Farseer, yeah, and I don't even know how many cards. Okay, yeah, and he's finally like, I need to silence this thing. So, 
I'm perfectly fine trading out the guy who's in Auctioneer at this point. So, I think what I'll do here is, I think I'm just going to fan of knives. And because I'm behind, I don't see any point in playing him, because I don't want to be doing any extra damage to myself. And I'm about to have a serious advantage here. So, or actually, if I fan of knives, I could trade out the 3-3. Three, three, and then it'd leave me with a 4-4. Four, four. So I think I'd rather do that. Okay, so now I have the option of playing this and getting even more minions, hoping he doesn't have a consecration. And I could play this as well. And then next turn I could frost with Lord Warlord. Yeah, I think I'll do that. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. So I'll go ahead and trade this out. And I'll just use this to do two damage to him, I suppose. Alright, so things are looking up a little bit. A Consecration would hurt a little bit here, but it wouldn't be like crazy life-threatening or anything like that. Yeah, he would kill two of my throwaway minions, basically. Justice. Okay, he'll Guardian of Kings. Reporting for duty. That's not too scary. So we get ourselves a Chillwind Yeti. And I'm still going to continue to hang on to the Swamp Ooze in case he gets a weapon. So... I think I go ahead and play the Dark Iron Dwarf, and I'm just going to throw this on, I could just play it on this and trade it out, but I don't want to do that in case he pulls a Consecration, I'd rather throw it on one of these and then use these to trade here. So that is what I'll do. Now I'll play the Warlord before I do the trade. <laughs> you looking at me? Hey, Use this to clear this out because I don't want him to have anything he can throw blessing of might on. At least he doesn't have mind control, right? <laughs> this was a priest, this would be a whole other different story going on right now. Alright, that's fine. I can pretty easily deal with that. So, is this at the end of my turn? It is. That gives me some interesting options here, actually. I could play this and just do 4 damage. Hmm. And then that would continue to help me clear out his little shit that he throws down. Plus it's a 7-5, I mean shit. So... Yeah, what the hell. So, we'll do 4 damage to this. And... It seems how... Everything else on the board here is pretty much gonna die. Alright. So now he's got to do 16 damage to me this turn, or he's dead. I can't think of anything he can do to stay alive. Reporting for duty. And there's the true silver champion. Which he'll probably use to hit me to try to get some life. Or he's doing the math right now and figuring out what he needs to kill to stay alive. I think he's, I mean, he's dead no matter what he does here. Mm. I'm hoping he doesn't concede just so I can play this Swampy so I can smash his weapon. Just for the hell of it. Because I'm an asshole like that. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Do that. Assassinate. And kill him. Well. That game was kind of weird. It was a really slow game. I thought I was just going to lose because I wasn't playing any cards, but apparently he didn't have 
any cards that were that great. So at least I had that to my advantage. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.